Wait, 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 wait! Stop! What are you doing now, right now? What? You told me this user story is too big, so I have to split it. Yes, you have to split your story, but not that way. But not with scissors. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel TD from I Love Consulting. So today I will show you how to split your user stories. Well, to split your user story, you can use several methods. But in this video, I will focus about uh, the spider method. No, 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 this video is not about Spider-Man, even if Spider-Man is very agile. So the spider technique allows you to split your user story by several ways so you can mix these ways huh? you don't, don't feel obliged to only apply one way or only to split your user story by applying the other ways no you can mix all the ways of the spider's technique so we start with the P, P for path uh, if the users have multiple ways to use the feature that makes a good area to split. For example, in a website of e-commerce, the client can pay by cash or maybe by credit card. So you have two paths. You can split them in two user stories. So one user story for paying by cash and one user story for paying by credit card. The I, I for interfaces. So for example, if you develop mobile app, your app, must switch with Android and must switch with iOS, right? So from here you can write two user story, one user story for iOS and one user story for Android. So the D, D for data. So uh, for example, uh, you want to display uh, some data on the, on the bills for the client. So you can split your user story by data field, data domain. For example, one user story for display the, um, the identity information of the client and uh, another story to display his, uh, con his personal contact information. So the ear, the ear for rules, so you can also split user story uh, by the business rules that you want to apply on your application, on, on, your, on your system. Finally, the S, the S for spikes. <laughs> So Spike says theoretically is uh, not uh, advised because uh, the theory means that you explain that you have to, to to do some studies, technical studies, because uh, you don't you, you don't understand very much the the need. It's, it's it's not clear, you know. So for me, I prefer to replace to replace the spike by screen. Because you can also uh, split your user story by screen. For example, on an internet website, you can make one user story for the homepage, one user story for the contact information, and one user story for the FAQ. So this is the end of this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, please subscribe of my channel, or put, put a like, or share this video to your friends, your family, or your colleagues, and uh, make some comments here below, share us some of your tips on how uh, to split a user story because it can interest me but it also can interest some of the colleagues who's looking for a technique to split user stories. So see you next time, bye bye!